Hi. Um, I'm going to show how to put on a uh, a uh, center bar buckle. See, one of these. Um, let's see how uh, we'll take the belt. See, and bring her up, and then the flush side toward the back of the the, the buckle. See it? See how I'm doing it? And that's the back side. Slide it all the way through. And let's see if I can here. And then double it over. See? See, I slid it all the way through here. See? Now, we're going to take my finger and push uh, this here up. There. And then feed this right back on the other side. Now, see this hole here? See it? That's got the groove. Well, that's where your uh, prong's going to go through. So let, let's see here if I can get that fed through. And I did. We're going to pull it down. Okay. There. Now, we've got that on there. See it? Now, the, the secret is make sure that you I don't know if you can see it see the little flat section right here on this pin make sure that that's laying down because that lays over the metal here and there you have it on there and all you gotta do is put your screws back in your uh, uh, belt now as far as your keeper here let's come all the way down see this oh I dropped it one second there we go. See this keeper here? I sometimes, I send these with a lot of the uh, the um, belts, but here, you don't need them with a center bar. But if you change the buckle to a heel buckle, see how I do this? I slide it on in, take it on down, and slide it all the way back down to where the buckle goes on. And it would go, see, I'd raise this up. I don't have any of my screws in. Slide it right in there. And then sandwich that in uh, with my screws. See how that, each wherever each my thumb is, is where the screws were at. See? But not with this. See how close? This is your keeper on the center bar. Okay? So let me take the keeper off now and lay that down here and then we'll put the screws in. Now the screws are, let me see here, okay here we go. See the type of little thing I have here? See that's the top part of the Chicago screw and I'm gonna just slide it on in. I can get it here. There we go. And then dump it over and hold my finger on it and I'll grab a screw and put that in. There we go. Sometimes you got to be a little patient, get them started. Don't get crazy. There we go. And we got that one on. See? Now, lay it over and do the same thing with this one. You just take it and slide that in. Actually, I'm amazed I didn't drop it on the floor and have to crawl around while I'm doing my video. Okay, and then put the screw in, in the second one. See? There we go. In the background is a scanner I got running in my shop. I probably should have turned it off. I'm sorry. But there we go. And I put the second. See? I put the two screws in. Nice, flat. See how nice and flat it is? But yet there's a lot of support. And here, let's take a look now. There it is. See how nice your belt is? Yeah, that's a. Now here is your keeper. See it? Right here. Now, so let's say we put the belt on, put it around, let's bring it up. I'll just use the first hole since we're using an example. Now I'm going to turn around, come back, and put it right. See? right in the here and that will be used as the keeper see now look how nice 
Isn't that nice? See? So I hope this helps you, uh, you know, if you need to put a center bar buckle on. And, uh, okay, that's it. Thank you for looking. Bye now.